thank you for watching so today's video is going to be a back to school makeup tutorial on this look right here so this is quick this is easy this is affordable we're using all affordable products here and affordable brushes and again we're focusing on making it quick and easy for when you need to wake up and get ready and get out the door fast this back to school makeup look was very requested so i hope you like what i came up with it is you know a pretty simple like neutral look if you want something with a little bit more oomph or a little bit more glam i did recently do a full face affordable glam tutorial and that was using all affordable products as well because i know when it comes to like back to school a lot of the requests that come in are saying like affordable or drugstore or you know more inexpensive type of products so i do have that running as well so i can leave that link down below for maybe like picture day or something like that but this one is just going to be a more neutral look but I really hope that you like how this look came out and if you would like to see how I achieved it please keep watching so the first thing I'm going to do is come in with some BB cream this is from Maybelline it's their dream fresh 8-in-1 beauty balm skin perfecter I absolutely love it it's really light on the skin but evens everything out I kind of think of the BB cream as like a primer as well because it is the 8-in-1 it's doing so many things like the primer can do um and when it comes to like back to school or really like quick makeup looks i typically will skip a primer when i'm going for like long lasting looks definitely don't skip your primer but when it comes to something just quick and easy and fast i will just go in right away just typically will use my fingers when it comes to the bb cream but i'll take it down on my neck as well and just make sure i'm covering all the areas something that i do like to do typically over my bb cream to give me just a little bit more coverage but still feel really lightweight is come in with a powder and i actually just picked up this new product from maybelline it's their super stay better skin skin transforming powder so this is what it looks like i picked up the shade 30 which is warm nude i have no idea if that's going to be my shade and i have not tried this out yet at all so we're going to go ahead and try it so this is what it looks like so it has a mirror up here which is really cool and then here's the actual powder and then it also comes with like a little sponge guide too. Um, I'm not going to use the sponge that's in there because I just got this little set from Real Techniques. It's their ultimate base set and it comes with like a powder brush, a concealer brush, and then also the beauty sponge as well. So I want to use this. So I'm going to open this guy up. That is actually really cool as well because it comes with this little case too. So you can put your brushes in it and it has a mirror. So that's pretty neat too. Um, I actually got this set from Octoly, I think is how you say the website. If you are a YouTuber or a beauty influencer or do Instagram or anything like that, I would definitely check out Octoly. I will leave a link below. If you use my referral link, I get like extra points, I believe. Um, but basically, they have like a free store and brands can put in their products there and you can request the products and some you get approved from, some you don't get approved from. And then they will send you the products and then you need to feature them in your videos. They can either be like reviews, you can use them in a tutorial like I'm gonna do now, but um, you just have to feature them in some way. Like maybe you have a favorites product or something and you can put it in there, but um, that's kind of how you do it. You have so many days that you're able to do it, but I've actually been receiving quite a few products here lately from Octoly to try out, which is so, so stinking cool. I really enjoy the Real Techniques brushes. I love the sponge in here. Like I have this sponge already. I've been through like three of them. I love them, but I was really excited to try these brushes, especially because I haven't tried them out. But again, um, if you are a beauty influencer, you do have to have a certain number of like subscriber counts on YouTube and Instagram in order to be accepted into Octoly. But if you do, definitely check it out. Again, I will leave it linked down below. But now I'm going to try this Maybelline powder with this brush and see how it goes. So the color is a little bit darker, but I tend to do that when it comes to my powders I just like I just like my powders they give me a little bit of a of an oomph <laughs> color wise because I'm typically always so pale so I usually go a little bit darker I really like this brush so far it feels really nice it's really soft and that, that's what I think about most of the real techniques brushes that I've tried is that they are super soft but it's putting the product on well also I'm really curious to see how this um, powder holds up throughout the day as well. 
but so far it seems to be going on really nice i've just heard so many people raving about this powder and i'm like okay okay i'm gonna go get it then so and it is supposed to be it's from like the better skin line from maybelline i have the better skin foundation and i have the better skin concealer and it's supposed to help perfect your skin as well and it does have salicylic acid in there which is good for like acne as well too i take the powder down onto my neck of course as well i think that's pretty cool especially because I have quite a few hormonal breakouts going on, so hopefully this powder will help out. Stuff that I really don't like to skip, even if I am in a hurry, is concealing on my under eyes. I think it can help brighten up the under eyes, but also, if you're anything like me when I was in school, I did not sleep a lot. Like, it just didn't happen. So I typically would struggle with the dark under eyes. And so I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have the shade Light because it also, it will conceal the dark circles, but then it also highlights under the eyes as well. So I'm just gonna place a little bit on my under eyes. I'm not gonna do anything crazy here. Like I'm not gonna do a full highlighting session. I'm not gonna like bake and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna put some on my under eyes. And I'm also gonna bring some onto my eyelids as well to act as a eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques makeup sponge and then just go ahead and buff that out. I'm gonna grab the concealer brush from that Real Techniques kit and then my Wet n Wild Dolce De Leche contouring palette. I'm gonna take the setting powder over here and place that on my under eyes as well. It's going to set the concealer, but I really like this powder because it also helps brighten up the under eyes and when you're in a hurry and you haven't gotten a lot of sleep and you just want to make sure you have the bright under eyes going on this is a really good powder to choose and then i will also use it to set the concealer on my eyelids so when we go in with the shadows they don't go anywhere so this is a really nice brush i've been this brush in particular is one that i've wanted to try for so long because i see so many people using it to set their under eye concealer and I can see why already. It's so like small, so it can really get in there, but it's getting the job done and yeah. I figured I was gonna like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna move to the eyes real quick and I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics and Carly Bible eyeshadow palette. I did mention this in my back to school essentials video. I'm trying to use a lot of those products that I mentioned in that video in this tutorial so you can see how I would use them. But this is a really fantastic eyeshadow palette and very affordable as well and it does have highlights in here too but there are so many different looks you can do with this but I'm just gonna show something really simple, basic, neutral, and most of all, quick. So first I'm gonna come in with my BH Cosmetics Big Fluffy Blending Brush and I'm gonna take this third color right here. It's a really like pretty light mauve shade and I'm just going to put that in the crease like a little bit, just a little bit higher than the crease and blend it out. Then I'm gonna take this second shade right here. It's a really pretty like pink, almost like rose gold type of pink shimmer color. And I'm just gonna use a flat shader brush also from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. And I love this shade because it really helps give like a bright eyed look. Which again is kind of like, like what we're going for. We're trying to fool people into thinking we got a decent night's sleep, and we're just so excited to be back at school. Am I right? I have this shimmer shade down. I'm just going to come back in with that first color on my BH brush, and I'm just going to kind of blend the two together. So it's just a really pretty, like, soft pink mauve look with some shimmer to it. Super quick, super easy, two colors. You don't have to focus on a lot of blending because nobody's got time for that in the morning. So for eyeliner, I'm going to take a Mr. Bing from ColourPop. This has just been like my jam lately. I cannot stop using this. Smudge some on my upper lash line. I'm not going to do any like wings or anything because man, if you mess up a wing, you're in trouble. So wings, I feel like are not for school unless you have a lot of time, like you woke up early and you had somewhere to be that day. So I'm just going to smudge a little bit on the upper lash line and then also put it on my waterline as well. I'm 
what I like to do is come back in with my flat shader brush. No extra product, but just kind of like smudge along that top line just so it's not like super, super perfect because that's what I'm going for in this look. So just kind of smudge it out a bit. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to grab my E36 brush from Morphe and I'm first going to come in with that same color that we've been working with. The first one that I put in my crease, I'm going to smudge that onto the lower lash line. I apologize if you can hear my dog snoring in the background because she has no respect for me and she is snoring so loud. <laughs> grab the shade next to it as well it's just like a deeper mauve color and again with the e36 brush I'm just gonna smudge that onto the lower lash line as well for mascara I'm gonna do like two coats of the Maybelline lash sensational mascara because obviously I'm not gonna go in with falsies because no one has time for that I certainly did not have time for that so I'm gonna try to build my lashes up by doing a couple coats of this mascara So if you are like me and have like decent eyebrows but you just want to make them look a little bit fuller and filled in, I, it's really quick and easy to just use like a tinted brow gel. This one is from Maybelline and it's their brow drama. I have mine in blonde and it's really quick and not only is it a brow gel so it's going to hold the brows in place but since it's tinted it gives a little bit of, of a oomph to your eyebrows. Someone who like fully needs to draw on their eyebrows, I mean I know that's more time consuming which really stinks. but brow gels really do save me. I'm just going to run this through my brows real quick just to give them a bit of something. And this is totally a step that is optional. I'm going to promise you guys that I did not give an ounce of care about my eyebrows in high school or even in college. Like the only thing that I did to them was wax them on a regular basis because they can get pretty huge. I do like this uh, brow gel from Maybelline. I do want to try out the Gimme Brow from Benefit as well and see how I like that because I hear pretty good reviews about that too. But this one works. Um, if you're looking for a good pencil, I have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and then the Benefit. Oh, what's the Benefit? The Goof Proof Pencil. I really, I think I like the Benefit one even more, but the NYX one is just a little bit more affordable. So again, I don't know if it makes like huge huge difference to the eyebrows but if you're in a rush but you want to do something with them try a tinted brow gel because it can help you out okay i'm going to switch back to the face now i'm going to go back into my wet and wild contouring palette i'm going to take my morphe m530 i'm just going to take the contouring shade and not really like do a full contour but i'm just going to kind of like give some dimension to my face so i'm going to run it along my cheekbones here and then up towards the temple. I feel like everybody has like there's certain things that they need to do in order to feel appropriate to leave the house, you know? And my, I think if I had to pick like two things that I really always like want to make sure that I do is eyeliner and either like contour or bronze. Because I feel like my face just looks like really, really flat when I don't give it any sort of dimension like you can when you contour or bronze up the skin, so. This is totally a step that you can skip again as well. I mean, when it comes to your back to school and you're in a rush, and if you're like in a real rush rush, I mean, pick the two or three things that you absolutely need to do before you leave the house and just do them. It don't matter. Unfortunately, your math test is not gonna care about your eyeliner. It's not what you're gonna be graded on. <coughs> Hashtag math is hard. For blush, I'm going to go in with Luminoso from Milani, and I'm going to use my Morphe M427. This is a really nice duo fiber brush. I feel like I've been raving about Milani so much lately, but it's a beautiful, peachy, shimmery blush, and I really like it because I, sometimes I can feel like it's like a two-on-one because it has so much shimmer to it. It can almost act as like a highlight as well, so I'm actually not going to do any other highlight more than what this gives me because I really do feel like it gives a nice highlight to the cheekbones as well and it helps me skip a step but of course if highlights like your thing and you need to make sure you do it you always can that carly bible palette does have four different highlight shades in it as well so that is a really good choice 
But for lips, I'm going to go in with Alyssa from ColourPop. It's a really great everyday pink color, and I absolutely love this Ultra Satin formula. And I really like this formula too because it's long lasting, so you won't have to worry about like touching up throughout the school day. I think a nude lip would pair really good with this look as well, and that's actually what I was initially going to reach for, but I've been wearing nude lips constantly lately, so I thought maybe I would switch it up for myself. But I've been wearing a lot of like London and Abu Dhabi, both from NYX Cosmetics that are really affordable, but these ColourPop Ultra Satins are only $6, so they're very affordable as well. And then to lock all of our makeup in place and help it last a little bit longer, I'm going to give my face a spray with the Pixi by Petra Glow Mist. Again, this is one that I mentioned in the essentials as well. And even though I didn't use a primer in the beginning, I do want to make sure that I set my face so that the makeup stays in place all day. And it kind of helps give you like an instant glow as well. So this is something that I think would be good to like keep in your purse or your backpack. Like if you ever need like a refresher throughout the day, you can spray your face with that. And I think it does amazing things. But once you've sprayed your face, then your back to school look is complete everything for my back to school makeup tutorial. I really hope that you guys liked this look and you found it to be quick and easy and achievable for you as well. I hope everybody who's going back to school, whether you're going to like middle school, high school, college, whatever it is, I wish you the best of luck with this school year. I hope it is fantastic for you. I'm also so excited for my niece Maya. This is her final year of high school. She is a senior this year, which is so weird to think that I'm an aunt to someone who was a senior in high school. Like, <laughs> what? But I just want to give a shout out to Maya. I believe that she watches my video. So if you're watching this one, Maya, I love you. I hope you have an amazing senior year and I can't wait to see where you decide to go to college at. But yeah, all the products that I use will be listed down below. So if you're interested in any of them, make sure that you check the description box. If there is any other back to school videos that you still want me to put out, I know that we're kind of slowing down on these videos now as we actually get into back to school. But if there is any other video suggestions in general that you have for me, please do leave those in the comments below. I hope you will give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure you are subscribed before you go, and I will just catch you real soon in my next one. Bye!